Well, hello there. As you know, for me, when I'm making these minis, it is all about cheap and nasty. And I noticed on Facebook that some people were making all sorts of battleships using pegs. So I thought, that looks fun. I'll give it a go. So that's what I did. I bought a whole bunch of pegs from the reject shop. And I thought what I would do is I'd try to make this sort of like a battleship type thing. And I thought the results were pretty good. I got myself some, some pretty small pegs, really. But I found some even smaller pegs just to mix up the variety. And I'm going to use these rhinestone thingies. Uh, well, I'll show you how to use them in a sec. But I figured we'll start with the little ones. I wanted to make like sort of smaller ships. Like, obviously, by the time you get to the end of World War II, you got these enormous monstrosities. Even in World War I, you got the dreadnoughts. But, you know, living in Australia, what kind of ships you got? Well, the HMS Sydney and that kind of thing, which were a tad smaller. I don't know what type of class battleship they were, but they weren't enormous. Um, and they weren't over impressive, so I thought I'd use these smaller pegs for such a purpose. So, relatively simple breaking them apart, and more or less that is going to be the vessel. So what I did was I cut, I sort of shave off the bottom of this thing like that to make it more of a, a sort of a boat shape prow, and reduce down the back bit, so that way we've got ourselves sort of like a, a bow to the ship, and sort of the upper cabin type space with a flat deck out the back. So it ended up looking something a little bit like, like this. So this is the kind of thing that I ended up with. As you can see, sort of just using a simple hobby knife was pretty easy to do that sort of thing. Actually, I used a fishing knife technically, but it gave me that right kind of shape, which is where everything begins to get very glamorous at the next stage. Um, we ended up placing on some of these rhinestones to decorate the ship. But before I show you that, um, I'll show you the sort of, I did make myself some bigger battleships using the slightly larger pegs. So firstly, obviously, the best way to make a battleship out of these things is to take them apart and you're gonna whack them together like so to get that sort of top-down view. But the main problem is with these things is they're just gonna be way too thick. Um, most naval vessels, when you see them, like the battleship type ones, they sit very low in the water. So basically, instead of just sticking these two things together, I took one of them and, well, just sliced it down the middle. A bit like this. Now, as you can see, a bit of a bodge job, but, you know, it doesn't matter too much if you keep the two flat sides on top. So now that it's uh, been sliced in half, more or less, you put them together and you get a much better profile sitting in the water. You glue it together a little bit like that. So once it's glued together, obviously you once it's dry, you can sand off the bottom to flatten it out a little bit more evenly. But as you can see, you've got the makings of where your ship's going to be built up from. So once you've got yourself the basic outlines of your vessels, you're then gonna to start to bedazzle these little things um, with a bit more structure on it. And for that, I've been using, like I said, these little rhinestone things. They're the kind of things that my daughter um, gets for her craft type stuff, but you know, I thought it would work pretty well just to give it a bit more definition. Very shiny. So you do it all up pretty like this, more or less. You also cut out little bits of wire and stick them on the front in order to have your turrets on your battleships. Um, so yes, this is the smaller vessel. And with the larger one, and for the bigger one, we create something like that. Again, putting a little... Um, little pin barrels onto there would be helpful as well. As you can see though, an addition, a bit gluey, an addition to the uh, battleship is that small bit of cardboard underneath. And I'm thinking you could layer them up a little bit better than I have to create a nice effect with like all the decks of the ship moving up. But yes, more or less we have ourselves our nicely uh, rhinestone-y battleships. And if you're thinking they don't look particularly good, I would say, yeah, because I kind of rushed them for the camera, but also you're forgetting the most important step. And that is, of course, painting the things. I found that that's where everything really began to come together. Now, I, I will start by giving these things a uh, base coat of a nice gray um, on the bottom, and then follow that by a bit of dry brushing to pick out the features, as they say. But then you start getting really elaborate with the painting and you'll end up with something that looks a bit more like these. So there you go. This is more the end product of what we're going for. Um, I did these a little bit earlier and as you can see, they look much nicer when they're painted up. As I said, matte uh, base spray paint of gray and then a little bit of dry brush of a slightly lighter gray to pick out some details as they say. 
um, put down some uh, wood timber uh, timber decks. Um, I know that not all ships had timber decking, but again, in order to sort of unify everything, I thought it'd have a good effect. Um, another thing I did on the cannons, I did the dry brush, like I said, but I also got a little bit of silver just to touch up on the cannons, make them look like they're glinting in the sun. And again, these things aren't perfect, but I really do like the look of them. Oh, and also we got our little lifeboats. As you can see, they're just little daubs of paint. Um, that little bit of daub of paint, a little bit, little bit three-dimensional, di three and you get yourselves an effect that does look rather nice. So yes, I'm quite happy with the end results that we got going here. As you can see, things are a little bit wobbly, but when they're all lined up uh, ready for battle, arrayed for battle across the, the fleet, across the ocean, there we go, um, they certainly look good for cheap little pegs. Of course, I also made myself an aircraft carrier. Um, again, if you look from the bottom, you can see that pretty much it's the easiest of all of them so far, just a peg, a big peg with a little peg stuck to the side, and of course, a little detailing on top. I really like my little planes. Uh, again, just the little daubs of paint. It looks the part when it's just sitting on the table, which is exactly where they're gonna end up being anyway. So yeah, I'm quite happy with my little fleet of battle peg ships. Um, what can you play with them? I don't know, play with them whatever you like. Um, I'm thinking even just making up a whole big set of like a uh, couple dozen of them, not a couple dozen of them, 32 of them. Uh, to use maybe like a, as a cool battleship chess set, I don't know. Play some uh, rifle chess or something like that um, as your battleships. But yes, I'm quite happy with the end result and it wasn't too difficult. Just throw them together, a little bit of paint and they look the business. Anyway, thank you so much for watching um, and I hope you'll see me again sometime soon. Goodbye.